I broke my shoulder collarbone, pretty much all of my ribs, my jaw in two places, and I had um, a brain injury, a subdural hematoma, which is bleeding between the brain and like what surrounds the brain, which is very serious. That video you made even back then was, I, I oh. couldn't stop crying. Doctors all around me, poking me, asking me questions what my name is. My stitches were just open, gaping wounds, and really, <laughs> I'm even missing some teeth. Hey. Everything's been put into perspective. Was that hard to watch? Can you? It was that? surreal watching. I hadn't seen it for a long time, and um, that was seven days after it happened. Wow. And yeah. you could see, obviously, I yeah. was like, you were like full on Kanye West. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think the accident affected your anger issues? Oh, 100%. And I ignored it, and I didn't want to talk about it to people. I didn't want to talk about depression. I've always been fascinated with how, you know, simultaneously fragile and resilient we are, the human bodies and the mind. And, you know, I was an exercise physiology major. I, I'm, no, I'm no neurologist or anything like that, but you're always... <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, in the back of my mind, like during some of the more tumultuous phases in our relationship, you know, that, that was a consideration. And uh, it's such a hard thing. How do you even bring that up? I always wanted her to tell her story, though, because I felt that it was such a kind of important part of her life. But I never felt that she played the victim. A lot of people would draw back on that and say, well, this is what happened to me and this is why. And she never did that. I mean, she barely ever mentioned it. So I'm happy that you actually got to share that I story. didn't want to. I had a bad relationship with myself yeah. and my body, and that affected my relationship yeah. with him and all of my friends. And in the last year, I realized yeah. I've not been happy for a long time and I'd done a lot of work on myself and I was really proud as to how far I'd come to just accept myself again. But I could not be happier. It was such a magical moment seeing her finally regain full control of who I knew she was and who I fell in love with in the first place. It was like, it was such a, it was just a little moment in our apartment, but it was such a special moment. Oh, that's my angel, huh? It was so time. good. It was so it feels so good to feel myself. Yeah. I knew she was always in there.